What's up guys, it's Daniel here. Welcome back to the channel. So today I'm gonna go over the latest updates and progress on the second stimulus bill and the $1,200 stimulus check for Wednesday, December 9th. So if you're new to my channel, please hit the like button, share and subscribe. So as of today, December 9th, we've passed over 1.5 million deaths worldwide and over 296,000 deaths in the United States alone as a result of the pandemic with over 69.2 million people worldwide having tested positive. Over 15.8 million of them have been from the United States. In the last 24 hours, the United States recorded just over 220,000 new cases and more than 3,000 COVID related deaths and the hospitalization of COVID patients is at an all-time high of approximately 106,000 patients. Today the House of Representatives passed a stopgap spending bill to allow for COVID relief talks to continue until December 18th. The $908 billion bill supports a $300 a week federal unemployment payment, $288 billion for new Paycheck Protection Program forgivable loans, $160 billion for state and local governments, $82 billion for schools, $45 billion for airlines and transit systems, $10 billion for the US Postal Service, and $5 billion for opioid addiction treatment. In regards to the new stimulus bill, Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer said, we're trying to get a bipartisan compromise along the lines of the Gang of Eight framework. We need Leader McConnell to stop sabotaging the talks and work with this Gang of Eight, which is the most hopeful and the only bipartisan group together. Today, Treasury Secretary Steve Mnuchin told reporters, I think that everybody is encouraged that there is a real framework here that everybody agrees on and there's a few issues that are still the sticking points. The two biggest issues are the money for state and local governments and liability protection. If we can't resolve those, we can move on with everything else. I don't want to tell a bunch of small businesses that they can't get paycheck protection loans. Senator Joe Manchin, who is leading a bipartisan group of lawmakers to try and pass the bill said, this is truly an emergency package. This is an emergency to get us through the first quarter, which will be the most difficult quarter that we have ever had. We have finally moved everybody to say it takes $900 billion to get us through the most challenging times. He continued with, this is not a do all and end all. Joe Biden says this is a down payment. He comes in as our president in January. He'll put basically another package to take us out of this mess that we have. We're going through this thing and we're going to have it done. We will. No one thought that we would have anything that we bought out today. We bought 90% of a bill and we showed you line by line. Chicago's Mayor Lori Lightfoot provided information on their planned vaccine distribution in the coming weeks. She said, Our singular goal is for every Chicagoan to have safe and easy access to the COVID-19 vaccine as soon as possible. And I want to emphasize folks, at no charge. She continued with, The vaccine development represents a long-awaited milestone in Chicago's and the nation's fight against COVID. And we look forward to working with our citywide partners to ensure the distribution distribution process is executed as efficiently and safely as possible through an equity lens. However, as encouraged as we are by a COVID-19 vaccine, widespread community distribution is still months away and we must remain diligent in adhering to the public health guidelines as we continue to move forward toward a brighter and more resilient future for all of us. On Tuesday, the United Kingdom began vaccinating people with the new Pfizer-BioNTech vaccine, with the first 800,000 doses being delivered to nursing home workers and people over the age of 80 who are hospitalised or who have have outpatient appointments. The CEO of England's National Health Service, Simon Stevens, said, I think there is every chance that we will look back on Tuesday as marking a decisive turning point in the battle against coronavirus. Canada has become the third country to approve the new Pfizer-BioNTech vaccine. So far, they have ordered 20 million doses, which is enough to vaccinate 10 million people and have the option to buy another 56 million doses as needed. London has seen a spike in COVID cases after coming out of a one-month lockdown. In response to this news, Professor John Ashton, who is the author of a book called blinded by corona and a former regional director of public health for northwest england said if london doesn't want hospitals to be full over christmas the government needs to get a grip today deaths will start going up during the christmas period and new year unless something is done london could become a super spreader sending coronavirus to other parts of the country over christmas and making a third wave of infections likely in january london always gets treated differently from the rest of the country because that is where parliament is and where a lot of the business community is so that's just a quick update of what's going on at the moment i will keep you all updated of any breaking news that comes out as soon as possible. I hope you've enjoyed this video and if you have any questions at all please leave a comment down below and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Also make sure to click the link below to get your three free stocks from Webull valued at up to $1600 when you open an account and deposit over $100. And as always please like, share and subscribe.